All right, guys, we're jumping into another set 10 TFT. It's going to be a good one. We just had our first game. Massive comeback. Not massive. We got top four. Let's just go AFK. Our team comp sucks. Oh, I can't even move my units. Oh, I can't do anything. That's right. So I love AFK because you come up with a huge chunk of coin. I haven't really spent any money at the beginning of the game. I just two star uh, Lilia. But here's the reason why I love AFK. As a creator standpoint, it's boring because you guys just have to watch both of us just sit here, which is okay. We can deal with that. But as far as an actual gameplay goes, you come up with a huge chunk of money. You usually come up with around 40 gold. Depends on how much you spend in your early game. Not only that, but it gives the first couple of rounds for everybody to pick where they want to go with their team comps. So I started playing Punk right off the bat for the, the reroll, which isn't going to help us now. Uh, if I Obviously, if I knew AFK was coming up, I would have picked something differently to start off with. But we're letting all these people grab their team comps. So we're just sitting back. We're chilling. We're going to let them figure out what they want to do. And then we'll, we'll take the table scraps. We'll scrape the floor and try to put a team comp together after. <laughs> oh, that's not a good start. We're going to lose a lot of HP over this. Normally, if I'm coming up on this, I like to have at least like one tank and one backline. I would have positioned my units better. Like Lily being way back here is doing us no good, but... There's no way to know you're taking AFK, right? There's no way to know. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's going to be a good game, guys. Feeling it. Every fiber in my body says it's going to be a good one. And if not, whatever. It should be, though. Our last game, we go check it out. It's uploading right now. Um, we ended up, like, we were contests on everything. And I mean, like, everything. Like, the beginning of the game, like, every team comp I could have possibly had cards for was already being built by someone else. And they had, like, a good lead on it. So, like, 51 health, we ended up turning around with Pent Pentacali, but it was still pretty fun. Got to like top three with it, which is good enough for me. When you go from last to third place and you already think you're doomed from the beginning, <laughs> that's, a, that's a W in my book. Also, if you're new, um, yeah, give the thumbs up, like, subscribe, drop comments. I always respond to the comments. Um, community's growing. Like, I think I started November 10th. And we're on the just over the three month of the channel being old, and it's uh, I think like 370 ish subscribers. So I'm like super stoked about that. You know, I attention to the sets usually start to taper off towards the end of a set. I will be putting playing the PBE for the set 11. I'll probably split it, I'll probably do like this content with the PBE and the PBE because I don't want to ruin it for people that um, don't want that like that set ruined for them. I will just put like a spoiler, spoiler free uh, template on that, say, say 11 risk, like, you know, spoilers aside. Um, because when I was playing sets before I even made content, if I saw people posting like videos for the next set and they're already in the PBE, I would like intentionally not watch it. I didn't want to see what was in the next set because I knew I still had two more weeks of this set. And when I went into that next set, I want to be like fresh and exciting. And I don't want to watch people figure out the meta. And play all these fun champs and say, oh, it's so cool, you can do this, you can do that. And then, like, me get in there and be like, okay, I've already seen all that. Like, you know. <laughs> that's just how I, that's how I am. Hey, we have to do something. We get to do something. Should have scouted, but the gloves are always a good choice. There's a lot of punk going on out there. So we should be free now with a massive hit to our HP. This would have been great if we were playing freaking Sentinel or uh, Hard Steel. Hard Steel to AFK would have been clutch. All right. As promised, a little over 40 gold. I don't want to build new guys. We're just going to hold on our 40 gold. I see that jazz are open. I know I make a lot of jazz videos, but I just find them very fun trade to play. And usually pretty uncontested. We have a decent starter kit for jazz. We have a lot of gold. The only thing is like we're going to get absolutely slaughtered like for the next couple of stages. 
It has to be like, start from the bottom, come back, like my last video. Which is scary. Law streaking. Oh yeah. Sheesh guys, we got really good econ. Really good econ, but no team. Like none of this I really want to put on anyone. That like, give us a, an advantage. Like these are really good items for different units. Like we could really fast seven. And just zug down all of our gold and hit seven before anyone else even has a shot at it. Be a little sketchy though. Yeah, got one at least. Come on, kill that single Annie. Bard, you failed me. You had one job, Bard. One job. I was gonna take that Annie early too, but I saw that she was contested. And I was like, eh, ah, better not. I want everyone to be attacking the same unit. Sheesh. I mean, this could work for us. Is anyone playing any of those units? I don't know if I want like him to be my headliner though. We have really got you know, items for like Zed or somebody though. Sheesh. Yeah, we'd have a very good Zed build. Okay, so let's just put this up now. Oh, my game glitched. Went a little overtime there. Keep going. Keep going. There we go. Stop going, stop going. Uh, it's, this game's acting a little glitchy right now. Weird. Weird! Yeah, we just need a headliner. I might try to quick seven this. Because if we quick seven, we get all of our jazz units out. We're gonna see what this nice augment is. We need something to save us. But the quicker I get my board out, I can stabilize, I can just start saving after that. It's kind of crazy to roll down so soon, though. Sheesh. Domino will, eh? I need a burn. Super bad. Bam, breach the summit, no. Harm assist, that's so low. And we're in it. <laughs> Wee! Now he's gotta not lose health. That's the trick. Come on, where are you? But yo for now is to activate it. Oh, these are the worst taxes for me. Terrible. Ooh, my fat son out of here. There we go. Man, get off my stage. Are you kidding me with that? I'm gonna lock that in. Jeez, guys, what are we doing? That was sloppy. Well, we definitely threw away some life here. My game's acting really like glitchy too. Like I'm hitting buttons and they're not really and it's not like it's on my computer by any means. It's the actual game. Like, it was fine last game. Maybe I have too many applications running in the background. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe something in the background is trying to mess with my system. Kill something, guys. Thank you. Get, like, we get that boost. Let's go all the way back down again. How much life we're going to lose here? 9182. Thanks, game. Yeah, that's huge trust. Are we actually going to play as hexes? That's the thing. 
Regardless, we're gonna give you this. And this, I think I like. You can have yourself a blue. I'll we'll focus on the tanks. I don't really like this KDA axis. It makes me not want to play this KDA. It's kind of part of my in in integral kit, so. It's just bad because, like, so say, like, you're in these, like, grouped up hexes, right? All it takes is, like, a Vex to shoot these people right here and she'd hit, kill, like, three people at once if she's, like, three star. It's like, when you're, when you have, like, your hexes that where you're really grouped up, it's kind of devastating. We need that bard. Yeah, Kai would be a good snake too. Okay. Where's all the uh guys? Like, sleep on this or what? There she is. Refund, refund, grab, swap. There we go. Now we gotta start working on tanks, guys. Uh, we're gonna move you in. We're gonna make. So you're my first three stars. So I'm gonna make you my first tank. My first two stars, sorry. Out of these two, like, when I'm playing Jazz, it's pretty much what you ever wanna hit first. Like, ideally, like, Echo or uh, uh, Nico's a way better tank. But Echo, like, like, he'll still do well, and if he's your first two-star, like, don't fight it. Just itemize one of the two, because you just want one tank, right? They're both going to do really well. Echo has definitely his scoring points, but Nico is really good, too. And the thing is, like, if you really set Echo up to be, like, a really strong tank, Nico's going to duplicate him, right? So, bias HP she'll take from him. It's a win-win. We're coasting. No, let's just dance. Do our happy dance. To celebrate, hopefully, uh, top three. This MF is stacked. I would have probably got a, a, a Last Whisper on her though. Maybe not the Giant Slayer. I did that because I saw that Olaf, right? And I was like, okay, if we get up against people that are like really tanky, like we're gonna want the Giant Slayer. So maybe it'll pay off. We'll see. We need a Giga Tank. So I pushed for that really fast, um, seven right normally i would never do that that's against like almost all econ rules but now i'm stable like i don't think like i'm not stable for like where we're at like we're going into four one i have a pretty stable board and i'm able to build up all that gold again so i can level up after this i just did this to prevent us from being down here and I tried to hit mf honestly i was like if i can greet out and get mf right off the rip we're we're set but in doing this we don't want to roll down anymore I mean, we could get Bard the Rage Blade. It's not as amazing with him. He's not like duty though. We'll probably get her to, like closer to a three star. Then this would be reserved for her. We're chilling though. This last augment's gotta be game changing, guys. That take us from third to first. We believe. We believe. Oh, uh, it's that person. I was going to buy this Annie right off the rip tube, then I saw someone else buy her, and I was like, I'm not going to double down on Annie with somebody else. But Emo Spellweaver would have been a great start. Yeah, I love Spellweaver. The only thing I love as much as Jazz is freaking, or not Spellweaver, as Emo. Yeah, the only thing I love as much as Jazz is Emo trick. So I just think they're 
so underplayed and so good. Bounce, hologram. That's pretty solid for MF. Final Ascension's decent. Infernal would be crazy. You know it's really hardcore contest me. It's actually no, they are. There's some people. So I'm not gonna do that. That's crazy. We good. You know this though. Oh yes. Tanky tanky. You are my boy, Echo. Wow. That was a good roll down, even though I said it wasn't gonna roll down. Alright, guys. Ooh. We don't like that. We don't like that at all. Bards dudes are doing like negative damage. Might as well just be healing them. You know, people still playing Ribbon Reroll. That's crazy. Don't say a lot anymore. I mean, if I get some of these units to restart, though, that Ribbon's gonna get absolutely blown up. This is such a good item, guys. 20 armor, 20 magicists for each enemy targeting the holder. And you also regenerate two maximum HP per second. That's huge, guys. It's absolutely nuts. Especially if you luck out, you get four KDA hexes. Uh, five, sorry. You got like two more units up. Oh, Olaf. Of course, you went to my back line. Why wouldn't you kill the tank? That's right, we got dudes, dudes for days. Feeling good. Minus that Riven just ran through us and slapped her face on the wall, I feel pretty good. We're not gonna get that spatula, that would've been sick. She gone. Michael's gone. No! Let's go. Scully B nuts. You're not playing Echo, so at least you'll sell it. I'll be re reintroduced to the, the pool. I really just love it, guys. Okay, we're gonna stop there. One more. Dang it. Dang it. Double down. As promised, you can have this. We want to get this Echo 3. I've been doing this, like, I've done this build a couple times, guys. Double, like, gargoyles, the dart. I can't even pronounce that. It's like Devac. De Let's try it. Let's see if we can pretend. Devara Palace Stone Plate. I've had that with one gargoyle, and I tried really hard to get a third gargoyle. <laughs> Because when you get, like, Echo with both these, like, look at how tanky he becomes, man. This is a two-star. He becomes an absolute savage with these items. I want a third one. Just because if you put him up front and everyone's attacking him, he stays alive for a very long time. That's eh, a true story. Pickler, no. No, Pickler. We really want to hit this freaking unit. Not super worried about the bard. Could try to bard three though, but I think she's better. We gotta chill though. We still have to roll up here soon. <clears throat> what contest is this echo? One. Uh, four. Contest five, so seven. Five. 
Not too bad. I might still be able to 3-star Echo. Which would be nuts. This Echo's a savage. <laughs> Just getting thrown around. He's like, whatever. Leave me alone. I'm really surprised we haven't hit MF3 yet. We yellow for the echo? Probably a little excessive on the rolling there. I'm just doing it for the content, guys. We want an echo three. Sheesh. Survey says, yeah, we get the three. It's trifecta, let's go. I haven't done that yet. Let's go. Gonna be the most annoying echo ever. We have to three star now. Oh, I knew it. I was like, I know it's gonna be on the next roll. Sometimes you just feel it in this game, guys. Sometimes you just feel it. Like, you just know in every fiber of your body, you're like, I'm gonna see it on next roll. That's why I sold that. That's crazy, guys. Freaking triple gargoyles. No, I guess triple stone plays, because the other one's divercular or whatever it is. Or <laughs> not divercular, but this is. You know what I'm trying to say. Bro, look at him go. With that health regen, too, and his freaking uh, bling bonus. You guys are going to slap at three stars, guys. I'm so excited to play this. I've been trying to do the same build. The amount of times I've done this with just that uh, Radiant item and one other stone plate, trying to get all three. Man, if I tell you I've done that like at least 10 plus games in the last two weeks, I've done it 10 plus games for sure. Let's go. 4,000. We're getting like, look, okay, this is why I want the bullets off, guys. You guys think like you see 192 and 192. When he's being focused by enemies, the amount of resistance you get is like more, like especially with the three of these, will be more than a Sentinel 8 bonus. Like he is just a walking definition of Sentinel 8 himself. It is nuts. And he's getting like, man, look at this. Like, watch. We, we want him to be focused. Why is your armor not going up? 472 and 330, guys. He said 472 MR at one point. 352, pretty steady. 312. When I say this guy is broken, guys, look at this. He just went toe to toe. close to hitting it Alright, no talking. Look at this, guys. Oh my god, guys. I've been wanting to do this forever. This is like my dream tank for Jazz, guys. I have finally hit it. Oh, man, that feels good. And if we ended up getting Lucian Note, just think, if we got Lucian Note, he would get more bonus health. He'd be closer to, like, probably 4,500. Oh my god, guys. I'm actually, like... I'm almost gyrating a little bit, like, because I've been trying to hit this for so long. So when you play team comp, you're trying to force something forever, and then it finally hits, you're like, finally. 
I think Karat is like with all my gold and econ like terribly for this game. This content is worth it. Like we almost hit 500 MR that one fight. Did you see that? It's nuts. I was like, yeah, this game's balanced. 20. Put her out. Hello there. Keep things off our back line. Is him playing a Cali? <laughs> this echo is insane. Let's go. Let me have it, guys. We're gonna watch here. 272, 272. That's starting. Three eighty four. That's not our high record. That record was like four something, wasn't it? Oh no, we're getting juggled around. We needed abdominal will. We need some sort of CC. That's only downside, man. We don't have any CC reduction. I wish I had abdominal will or, um, yeah, just abdominal will. Would have done it. Like we need a, this is where we need a beefy backline to pick up for that uh, CC. Like we tanked a lot of that CC for a while, but. So we're not being focused. Our other tanks are dying too soon. 312 and 312. 352, 392, 392. I think we saw 417, 472 earlier, didn't we? 352, 312. Dude, this is so broken. Like, he just walks it like... Like, the amount of damage mitigation, like, I want to see this, guys. He tanked 22,000? Oh my gosh, man. That is insane. My second like my second tank to him tanked 3300. He tanked 22,000. Oh my gosh. Bro. We need Lucian. We need Lucian like right now. Should have picked up that. Yeah. Cheese. Still down on our efforts for tanking here. To really move her and, uh, Oh, man, stop shooting my back line. Echo, man. How stunned can you be, like, the entire game? We need to do something different here. That's why I don't like these KDXs. We're just spread out more. This would be a different story. I'm gonna put him front line and center. We're gonna put these back here so we're not getting shot. Ideally. That's the only thing that's gonna kill us right now, CC, guys. Like 36,000! Guys, how high can- how much tanking damage can one person take? He took 36,900! Bro! He took 30,000 flat and magic damage, blocked that game. I'm just gonna leave it on this, this is more exciting to me than the damage meter. <laughs> Get any more of those tanks? We need him to get there. He's in the back line. It's done. That's all we needed. 
No, 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 no. Get a shield stun. No, everyone's dead. We need him to get in there sooner because we need him to be stunning people in the back when he ults. This team's probably going to win. Just because we have no CC reduction. He's got a three star Lulu. Like, that's, that's savage, man. That is absolutely savage. That's like. That's ridiculous. Three star Lulu with a freaking TF. Surprised we've made it that far into that team comp. There's been no love for the freaking uh, Lucian stay. Can't even get near that freaking TF. Yeah, if we had the MF3 start, it might help out a little bit, but... We can't get in their, their line. The Echo gets just CC'd, so we can't move. Hey, look at that CC, guys. He's just stuck. Unbelievable. Peace. There's our Lucian. Do we dare? Let's try it out. Let's try it out. I mean, everyone's... This is nuts, guys. Absolutely nuts. So if we swap these two out, we're going to get absolutely slapped because we don't have the tentacles, but... So let's look at your HP now. 40-54. 40, 40 does more damage. 14%. 10%. Let's try it out. Top 3 anyway, right? We made it this far. I want to put him, like, I want to keep him here, because we want to block these any shots. That's what, like, ran through us last time. Man, Nico's putting up numbers there. Let's go. MS down. Oh my gosh, guys. 37,000. <laughs> I don't even care, man. I don't care about like losing games like this as long as I'm top four, as long as the content's there. We took 37,000 damage as Nico, man. Almost 38,000. You can round up. Round up. 38,000. We'll do it for the thumbnail. Alright, guys. Like and subscribe for more wacky content like this. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.